Does the temperature in your pool really matter? In a word, yes. In two words, hell yes. I mean, if you jump into a cold pool in the middle of the summer, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Aside from the nasty, intense, body temperature change that you will experience, there are actually some people who are at risk at certain pool temperatures. And certain temperatures of your pool water can put you at risk for bacteria and algae growth, and that's not great. So, what is the perfect temperature for your swimming pool? It All right, quick disclaimer, when it comes to pool care, everyone's got a different way of doing it, including us, but at the end of the day, we just wanna help you take care of your pool. The following information is based on my experience in the pool industry, plus the research that we've done here at Swim University. And if I missed anything, please leave a comment below just to let me know. Hey, that rhymes. Okay, the most common water temperature for residential pools is between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's 26 to 28 degrees for you Celsius fans out there. Now, depending on who is swimming in your pool, you may need to take in some considerations. Kids, for example, are vulnerable to extreme temperatures, and so therefore, we recommend that you keep your pool at 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's 29 degrees Celsius, if you have a lot of kids swimming in your pool. The same thing goes for seniors, not high school seniors like senior citizens, especially senior citizens who have arthritis. You don't wanna keep a cold pool, you wanna keep your pool between 84 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 29 and 32 degrees Celsius. Now what about for just people who are not kids, people who are not senior citizens, where do you keep your pool temperature? Well, like I said in the beginning, between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, that is where you should keep your pool temperature. Remember, if we're gonna be dealing with senior citizens or we're gonna be dealing with kids or you wanna just swim in a really nicely warmed pool, there are some risk factors. And I say that because there are. So with a warmer pool, you are at risk for bacteria because bacteria loves to thrive in warm water and so does algae. So just remember that if you're gonna keep your pool slightly warm or for having a really warm summer, you wanna make sure that you have your pH and alkalinity and calcium all in check. And you wanna make sure that the chlorine is, or whatever sanitizer you use is in check, meaning it's at the proper range. Also, if you have a chlorine pool, you may wanna shock it more often. We recommend people shock every week to two weeks, and if you're gonna be keeping your pool warm, you may wanna shock it every week as an insurance policy. How do you know if your pool temperature is accurate? How do you know it's at that perfect 80 degrees Fahrenheit, that perfect 27 degrees Celsius? How do you know? Well, if you have a pool heater, and good for you, then you can actually use the thermostat built into your pool heater to measure the degrees of your pool water. But even if you have that or don't have that, I recommend getting a standard pool thermometer. There are three different types of pool thermometers you can get. The first one is an analog one. We're talking old school, but they make digital ones. That's the one I totally recommend because they tend to be the most accurate and they'll give you the exact number. You don't have to use your eyes. It'll just tell you. It's kind of like a digital clock. It'll just tell you what time it is. And then finally, you could get yourself an infrared thermometer and you know, those are cool. Pew, 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 pew. So even if you have a thermostat and your heater, I recommend getting an additional way to measure the temperature of your pool. That way, you know you're being accurate. So in order to control the temperature of your pool, if you have a pool heater, and again, good for you, then it's pretty easy to control. You use the thermostat and your heater, you dial it to what you want, it heats your pool, boom, you know what you gotta do. But you wanna make sure that the thermostat and your heater is accurate, which is why I recommend getting an additional thermometer that you can put in the pool to make sure that it is accurate and you wanna make sure that it's calibrated to the correct temperature. The other thing you wanna do is if you do have a pool heater, you wanna make sure it's properly maintained because an old pool heater can start to go and can start to you know, not work as well as a brand new heater, and so you're gonna be wasting a lot of money and energy, and just make sure you're, you're on top of it. A good way to be on top of it is obviously get it maintenance as much as you can, and make sure your pH and alkalinity and calcium hardness levels are in check, because anything that's high in calcium or high in pH and alkalinity can cause scaling inside your filter, which will make it work much harder and waste a lot of money and energy. All right, so for those of you out there with a pool heater, and you wanna save some money, you wanna save some energy, 
I recommend also getting a solar pool cover, a, a liquid solar cover, a solar ring, a solar blanket, whatever, whatever one you wanna get. Over here, we have an entire video on it. And if you have a pool heater, you can add on the cover and that'll help retain that heat. It's kinda like, you know, you heat up your coffee and you put it in a thermos. The solar cover is kinda like the thermos with a lid on it. Some other ways you can save on energy and cost is don't heat your pool up. If you, I know that sounds like, well, what the hell is this about? It's about temperature. If the if it's hot out, that's gonna heat your pool naturally by the sun and you can use a solar cover, you can use the solar rings or a liquid solar blanket, that's gonna heat your pool and you don't really need to be running your, your gas pool heater or your electric pool heater uh, during those times when the pool is being heated naturally by the sun. Another trick you can do is use your solar cover at night. At night is when you lose the most heat in order to control that heat in your pool. Use a solar cover or a li liquid solar blanket or some solar rings at night to stop the water from evaporating, which will cause heat loss. Okay, so to recap, the perfect pool temperature. There is no such thing as the perfect pool temperature. However, the ideal pool temperature is between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. And if you are dealing with children or seniors, then you wanna keep it above 84 degrees, between 84 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's whatever Celsius. All right, if you want more tips on how to take care of your pool, I got something for you. We have a great resource for that, and it's called the Pool Care Handbook and Video Course. You can get it by going to swimuniversity.com slash pool-care-handbook, and it's got everything that you need to know about taking care of your pool. It's a fully packed video course that's constantly being updated, and it's a 300 plus page digital ebook that is also constantly updated. When you buy it, you own it for life. We're giving you 10% off by using the promo code video at checkout. That'll get you 10% off the pool care handbook and video course. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or you think I missed anything in this video, please leave a comment. Also visit swimuniversity.com if you want more information on how to take care of your pool or hot tub. And you can even subscribe to our YouTube channel for more pool maintenance and hot tub maintenance videos that we are publishing. So that's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.